you human, so you gonna go through stages where you gonna feel some type of way. You might even feel like giving up sometimes. What? But that ain't an option. Come on in this house. Welcome back to the Navy Black Podcast. This is Big Boy the Boss, aka the Money Quarterback, making plays with the money. What up, bit? What it do, everyone? It takes nothing to join the crowd and everything to stand out. What it do, John? What's happening, you guys? What up, everybody? We got a special guest in the building, a trucker, our homeboy from day one, like family. What up, Sap? What it is? What it do? <laughs> what it is? Mr. Sapolo in the building, man. <laughs> what it ain't? <laughs> he bright red over there too, right? Bright red. Bright. <laughs> Breaking <laughs> Break <it> already. <laughs> it's so tired to have you in here and stuff. Cause like I said, we just know you from straight childhood. And like every every podcast that drop, we get that text from South. Let us know that I like the podcast. I like to talk, talk about some stuff about the podcast. Cause like you a trucker, you on the road yeah. all the time listening though. So like, first of all, I appreciate that so much. Cause like, it's, I, we look forward to like you letting us know that. Cause like one person listen to the podcast, that's all we need to know. It's like it's yeah. so cool that like we doing something that like people that we know from birth. Like basically, like fucking with the shit that we doing and stuff though. Like, but tell us about you out here, be on the road. I mean, I can start from the beginning, or you want to just talk about on the road, just seeing. Let's talk. Uh, start. We, we can start with L. Cause like, man, I got we got so many stories. Um, just how you been first? I've been good, man. You know, been how, good. You know, uh, you had a big event yesterday. Yeah, I finally then it, it accepted it. Yeah, <laughs> I finally accepted. You know, hey, as a matter of fact. I was on the road whenever she told me. Yeah. She texted me and her mama. I went off. I ain't gonna lie. I flipped. <laughs> I flipped. You know, but then, you know, her mama, she was she was great. But I look mm-hmm. at it like, okay, when I when I had her, I was 17. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a baby before her though. Mm-hmm. I would have been 16. Mm-hmm. But, you know, her family wasn't feeling it, so you know, you had to get rid of but she got right back pregnant yeah so by her getting right back pregnant i guess like fuck it they, gonna God will. Got yeah, you, they, yeah. they so grown now we had it so of course i want her to do 10 times better than me mm-hmm. i do i went forward but i look at it how me and her mama felt whenever they made her get rid of the baby or whatever yeah. so i was like end of the day she gotta live with that now yeah. now this so mm-hmm. Plus, she she be eighteen. Yeah, baby, get here. So that's pretty much she can make her own decision. Yeah, yeah. she's adult. But I I want to I let her know like you you not first no more. Yeah, yeah. Not first no more. Like and I, with you either because like yeah. you got to take care of the grandchild. Yeah, like, and I, got, yeah. Like I let her know like don't let this shit happen back to back though. Yep. Like don't let this shit <laughs> Life happen. Life is real. Though. Yeah, because it's it's easy. But like I can't really be I can be pissed. I which I was, but I didn't accept it. But I had her at a young age. Mm-hmm. I was in tenth grade when we had her. So, like, Dang, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, like, but think about hey, how young you is in the tenth grade. Think about it. Senior night and stuff. My daughter walked across the field. With me, she went. She went. That's yes. why. That's yes. what was crazy. Like yes. that was on the football team with a with a kid. Yeah. <laughs> like you'll see, you had a kid. So like that's why this shit. This shit kind of like unheard. Thirty five with a grandchild. Like, yeah. That's like that's like old timey stuff. You yeah. Feel? Cause our grandma was that young with a grandkid, but like yeah. you like our age in a, in a way. Yeah. yeah. But mm-hmm. granddaddy sap. You know, I just now nah, you know me. I talk. I ain't, I was, I ain't really speak on it for a while. Mm-hmm. I ain't speak on none of it for a while. But me and her talk now. Mm-hmm. We talk about it. Whatever. Yeah, because it's go. You cause when your grandchild come, you gonna love your grandchild. Yeah. Regardless, cause I, like I say, I see my mama being a grandma. It's like wow, like the love she just poured into Jazay. It's like that's how you saying you gonna be with your grandchild. Yeah. Because it's like man, that come from me, but it come from me from someone else. You know, that's yeah. like, so deep line. Of, cause like you a matriarch, you know, a patriarch, yeah. not a matriarch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's not a patriarch. But that's so, that's so cool. Like I saw one of your classmates tweet about it. Let me mm-hmm. tell you the tweet. Man. And like my classmate about to be a grandparent. I ain't had now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think that person I, hit me up. Oh, hit man. Me up. He said something like that on the, yeah. on the comment. That was so funny to me because like, it's I so it true. Amanda. Yeah, it's Amanda. Amanda. Yeah. 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 It's so damn yeah. cool because it's so yeah. funny because it's the truth. And like I said, we don't saw you before you had any kids before like you know even yeah. thought of you probably even mm-hmm. having sex and like you no know, that you 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 the one that's about to be a granddaddy out here <laughs> i mean i started early though like yeah. sexually anyway like yeah. my brothers all my brothers they like think about it y'all know it was just me and my brothers in the house mm-hmm. my brother my mom to work third year uh-huh. so i might wake up 
a lot of shit going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Then you know you got Pat, Bird, yeah. all them, Reggie down there, all them coming up to the house. My mama go to work. I'm yeah. talking about them boys getting drunk on the weekdays. Like, throwing up. In school? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was, we was always in the house sleep at that time. Yeah, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> no time was crazy back then because we all grew up on the same street on Picking Street or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, what, what we would we call that? This ain't west side because like on um, like it's up top, up top. It's up yeah. top. They can see the up top too. It's up like, top. We live the up top. On, yeah, y'all yeah, on top, the top. Cousin Street. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. like I said, shout out. Like I said, I was like, I was talking about this. Like shout out to all the people. Like your cousin Chris, your cousin yeah. Ali. Like yeah. they would play with Boo Boo. Yeah. Like they used to play with Reggie, Vante, yeah. Keisha. Yeah. There. Like yeah. you remember, it, like, remember Bone and Dave. Remember it was a joke. What was that joke? <laughs> Reggie go get me a bitch. <laughs> Ain't that right, Bone? Yeah, that joke was so funny, man. Like they know what we talking about. We uh, yeah. they see it though, but we had so many good mirrors, like just playing basketball in that yeah. little dirt circle. That dirt circle seemed like it was so big. I bet you look so it, small. It's now. grass. It's grass. It's grass now. now. Yep. Is there watermelons back there? Nah, you remember we had the watermelon fight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember we had burnt that uh that backyard way. Uh Erica don't say that. My daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he burnt the bitch up twice. Yeah, yeah. twice. Man, just out of stuff and I ain't working at all, man. Man got the whole fire truck and everything. <laughs> well, like, hey, backyard black for a um, month. It's like yeah. it was a uh, trampoline that it got burnt up too. I remember it was a bite. Agent tried to go in there and get the bite, but the fire was too. It made it all the way up to the graveyard one time. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about AC? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like they always had go kart. Y'all, y'all was the people on the street had the go kart. Y'all had yeah. like the stuff to go play with. I ain't gonna lie, man. Can't my daddy, two parent household. Yeah. My daddy made my childhood like amazing. Yeah, y'all yeah. yeah. had everything. Amazing. Punch it back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like, but then he instilled that into you because you doing the yeah. same thing right now. But like, you yeah. want to be a daddy in your kids' life. I mean, like, tell them how many <clears> kids you got. If they, they can say, I got five kids. I got five kids. With a grandkid on the way. Yeah, I got five kids, four baby mom. It sounds bad on the resume, but you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on the resume, it's not, yeah. but, I mean, but you a male though. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. But you also showing and proving in life with the stuff you got that you know yeah. that you, you still on what you got going on because like you can have all the kids you want as long as you can take yeah. care of. Them. Yeah, I ain't always been where I'm at. Like as a parent, like I still make mistakes. I ain't mm. perfect, yeah. but I ain't always. But I don't. <clears throat> I just try to. Take a situation and learn from it. But I ain't I'm not perfect. Yeah. Like I make mistakes still. But mm -hmm. I I try to do my best. I try to I know I, I know I'll never be happy, man. My daddy is. Mm -hmm. But I try. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That dude a hell of a dude. But like I said, you say that because like he the person that birthed you yeah. and just took care of you your whole life. But like think about your kid gonna say the same thing about you. That's just how it goes. And yeah. that's what it's supposed to be. Like if you ain't in that position, then like that you you fail. Honestly, you know, yeah. if your kids don't think like cause like I was watching the podcast, poor mind, there was something like like people as a kid, you could do stuff for your daddy, but like he was he your daddy, so he's supposed to be doing all this yeah. stuff for you. Mm -hmm. Like so he 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 ain't got he don't need no quote unquote adulation, but you gotta give it to him because you appreciate what he did. Yeah. But like one thing I forgot, we ain't even shot Brad out at all in here, man. Brad over in the corner, man. We got Brad in the building. Cause like we, Shut we, up, we, we shot Mr. Ferguson. We we brought him up last week. He got a nickname. Fergaloso. As soon as he walked in, his nickname came true. <laughs> 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 you wanna know what his nickname is, uh Sap? What? Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> My boy came in with the purse. He had a purse on though, Brad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Turn the mic on to say something, Brad. Yeah. Turn the mic on to say something. Yeah, he on a, he got the mic on there. He got something to say. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. say it. Probably was a diaper bag or something. Nah, that was a Purge purse. <laughs> Nigga, that's a pocketbook. <laughs> 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 that's Miss Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, how how the road been for you though? Man, it's great. Like I get to see, I get to see a lot of stuff I ain't never seen. Like shit, I might I might go through like seven eight states in one day. Man, so, you like, sent me a picture that said nineteen hours. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> yeah, like. I get to see a lot of different stuff, and like I don't really get to enjoy it. But like, say, as I'm close to something and I'm staying the night there, I I Uber to it. Mm -hmm. I, I just like they had a little scooters and the bike and stuff. I ride to it. Like one time, um, me and my partner KJ, me and him, we was um in St. Louis. Yeah. I always want to see the, the um, Gateway Arch. Oh, uh, the arch. Yeah. So we rode we rode scooters down and we fuck around the turn. The wrong way, but it was in the hood. <laughs> we back around, yeah. So we end up getting on because you get in a certain zone, they shut off. Yeah. So we got on down there. Shit, that shit nice. So nice. how many states you done been through? I done been through most of the Midwest, all the way up to come down to Texas, go up, 
to make the South Dakota and be the North Dakota. I ain't back. I ain't been to the West Coast yet. Right. Yeah, we ain't been. To, we ain't did the West Coast. So you like this song? You rocking with? You like? You loving it? This is what it is, bro. Like right. you know, I, I left. I left for job. I worked yeah. there for thirteen years. Yeah. 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 But like, I knew. I knew. You remember? Y'all just come to high. We talk about the van thing. I started with the van, and um, I, I got that from my partner, um, Tan Smith. Yep. Um, twins, F D. And you was like deliver, delivering medical equipment, right? He was doing it. Like he was doing it. Like I went on a ride with him one time, and he was like delivering like chips. He was stocking up chips and stuff. And I like, dang. And like I'm noticing, like he he doing it when he doing it. They paying him straight cash to write him a check right there yeah. and there. So I said, my, get me a van. Mm. And um, I started. I got a contract with ADL. I had went to matter of fact. Shout out to um, Jody Clay. He rode with me Spartanburg. Yeah. I had got a damn rest mobile. I paid eighteen hundred dollars for it. it. Rested. It must have been a no. It rested yeah, at yeah. the bottom. I got a contract with ADL. This place in uh, Columbia, mm -hmm. delivering. You got that for eighteen hundred though. Yeah, with eighteen hundred, yeah. but it was that month for motor went on me quick. Like, okay. Like I had, I ended up, I couldn't do both, so I had hired a driver, mm -hmm. and then I hired a driver. You know, um, he ended up driving for one of his his uncles. His uncle ended up getting one, so my niece was driving, but my mm -hmm. niece was working as well. But my mom and daddy, my daddy used to get off from work. And my daddy get off from work. That's how bad I, my mom and daddy want to see me win, huh? Mm -hmm. My my daddy would get off that morning. He don't work nights. Yeah. He'd get off that morning and run my routes <sighs> for me. Like, yeah. Run my routes for me. That it was a Chevrolet van. That ended up that ended up the motor ended up going on. I had to get wow. off from work, go to Georgia, and I drove it back like that, but the motor was gone. So I ended up getting a um a Ford. Uh, that's that been over three years ago. But um, once I got the Ford, I was like delivering like people that do dialysis from home. I had a link with this dude, um, his name, uh, what's his name? Rolling, Rolling, his name, Rolling. He cool. I still yeah. stay in contact with him. He still sends, try to, act, you off, you home. Yeah. He still like, it wasn't no bad blood when I left. He know that I was. I mean, you just get yeah. rid of the bigger and better, better patches. Right? I had I had a contract. When I had a contract, I couldn't do it because yeah. I ain't had no driver. Like it's, it, I wasn't really making no money because if I got a driver, I'm paying. I was trying to pay him like sixty, seventy dollars a day, yeah. which wasn't bad. You only work three, four hours. Yeah, I'm trying to pay on that, and then I had um, I'm at work, so I had to leave work and stuff sometimes. So it wasn't working out. So it just like no peace of mind. I end up, I end up. I, I know um, Brick Brick had a um, van. Okay, so I ain't selfish. I like. I might well let that man get that contract instead of me holding on to it and yeah. can't do nothing with it. You know, so Britt ended up getting, I think it worked out pretty good. Matter of fact, Brick on the road now, too. Mm -hmm. But it ain't worked <clears> like that. But in the road with uh, 18 Wheels, box truck. He got box truck. Okay. Yeah. I um, would just be nervous. Like, me personally, I always see these big trucks on the road. I'm always just nervous about the people that's driving them and just the whole machine because, like, those <clears> machines, like, they unstoppable if you can't stop them. So, like, you know, when you in the truck, like, like, how you be feeling? Like, I know you get tired. What you I, drive first off? I, I drive a twenty six foot okay. box truck, mm -hmm. and um, you don't gotta have no CDL for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah a lot know. of people think that. Mm -hmm. Don't though. Mm -hmm. You don't. But um, I um, when I'm in the mountains, you just gotta man. You gotta do what that sign tell you do. What them signs tell you do that speed limit. Do that. If it tell you it's curvy, it's rough. Do that, yeah. Cause it, it don't take but a second to mess up. Exactly. Yeah. So like, I see. Let me tell you. I'm gonna tell you a story, a real story. Um, me and my partner, we had went and picked up one of the other trucks for an hour. We mm -hmm. started off in um, where we drove probably about twenty nine hours. Now. <laughs> like mm -hmm. he picked up the truck. We started out in um, Minnesota. We started out in Minnesota. Came down an hour, and we picked up the other truck. Cause it was at um at, at the freight line over there, or whatever. So he got in that one. I got him. We just following each other. But when we hit Louisville, Kentucky, start snowing like bad. Yeah. You know, I think it kind of made him kind of nervous that snow. Cause he was like, man, sap. I don't know about that. He told me that I was top. I say, man, I'm. It was like like snow you ain't never saw before. Cause like never seen it where you can't see the road. You gotta just mm -hmm. ride. It's a four. It's a four lane, but it's only the lines you see is. From the person driving, driving in front of you. Yeah. I seen about 20 ricks. People driving off. I yeah. seen 20 ricks, like, probably about 10, 18 wheelers, and probably about even more cars. Like, lie with your eyes, just saw it happen. Yeah, but you got to go, like, you got to do 
drop down to 35. Yeah. You gotta go to 35. Don't don't go no higher than that. Don't stop hard. You can't hit the brakes because it's it's ice on the road. They haven't yeah. scraped the roads yet. Yeah. I don't know. It, it snowed from all the way from Louisville, Kentucky, to I got to Asheville, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. That's imagine, the ride, going, eh? imagine going 35. That's, that's going through the mountains too, right? Yeah, through the yeah. mountains. You going 35 that whole time, boy. It took us a long, long time. Long ride. It took a long. He ended up stopping, man. I kept pushing on through though. Yeah. I was trying to get on home. Yeah, but like I said, you got to be careful because I saw a video about a trucker. Like, he was saying that um, he had hit some people that was on the side of the road, but he said it was like um, a malfunction and the, the tie had blew. He fell asleep. Fell asleep. He, he fell asleep. He, he fell asleep. Like a snapper, he like, they ain't know. They yeah. trying to check it out. They don't want to say that. They just so dangerous on the road, but you have to have them because, like I say, you got to carry this stuff mm -hmm. around. But, like, I just, I be thinking about this stuff so much because, like, driving that, People make so much money doing this stuff. I say, say I'm making a lot of money over there. You say, Mr. Ruby over there, man. Mm -hmm. I, man, okay. You know, my partner, he low-key. So, mm -hmm. like, he low-key, man. He, I, I shout out to him to, you know, even seeing that opportunity to me. Yeah. Because, like, he was like, man, I don't know what your situation is in that van. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I got this situation for you. Yeah. I say, shit. Networking, man. I, I used that back when COVID was going. I took advantage of that, like, man, I'm finna... I'm about to miss work, and yeah. I'm finna see how how this really go in this van. Yeah. So by that by the time I seen how it went, I, I had man, my mind I'm quitting you at food. Yep. Yeah. I ain't even say nothing. I, I, mean, I think I told y'all. Yeah, I, I, I told y'all having these conversations because yeah. yeah. that's what you doing that made me feel like yeah, yeah I can do it. I feel like, but like, you found something afterwards that go forward with. Yeah, it, it's scared to quit. It's yep. scared to quit a job where you Very. got benefits, you making good money. It's scared, but if I I ain't I ain't want to do that no more. Yeah. Yeah, and like I ain't even. Driving trucks ain't even my passion though, but mm -hmm. that's I look at it like this: I'm gonna do that and go continue to do it. But in the meanwhile, I'm gonna do what's my passion. Now, me personally, I like I like to sell clothes and stuff. Yeah. I want I want stores. I want uh -huh. I, like, I want fashion stores. Like, yeah. But I don't want no. I want a store store like yeah. My, um, you want a brick and mortar yeah, store? Yeah, like dude, Air Fifty Seven Snoop. Yeah. Man, he had he um I hit him up one day. I went in there. I was like, this is what I want to do. Yeah. And he was like, man, I be busy on the weekend. And he was like, man, just come in here and I'll show you how to start it. And it, I never, I was working at US Foot, I never had the time to go through mm, it. Yep. But he was willing to show me. Like, and then what I'm saying, like, with working a job, you don't <laughs> have a lot of time. Yeah. You gotta, but I guess it's all got to be about automating your on um, your day or whatever. Because, like, starting a, a, a clothing store, because, like I said, you always have had clothes yeah. and you can't dress. How, how you dress or whatever you know because you know when i step out you feel me i steps but like for real you starting to start that'd be cool though yeah. i definitely would um i think people would support it be like like you said yeah. like people reached out to you because like your personality you talk to a lot of people and a lot of people know you're a cool person or whatever yeah. like they want to help people out there they feel that will help them out in this genuine people i just want to store like i don't want to store with my clothing i want other people putting uh, their clothing okay. in my store so you just want to own a store. I want to store like with with name different name brands. And but you buy stuff wholesale but sell it retail. Basically, okay. You know? Yeah, I think you still you can got start a name for it. You, you brand too. That's what I I even had. I hadn't did the like the LS. I had it like it was Saps fashion. Yeah, I was doing it like straight. Like I had it coming out my house and like mm -hmm. out of the trunk yep. and stuff. And then like I even had an LSC for um my van. It's called High Definition Logistics. I just don't use it. Mm -hmm. so, but yeah, but um another. You still got the van on the road? Yeah, I still got. I just put it in the shop um okay. the other week. Yeah. I put in the shot at the Ford place the other week. Do you drive? Yeah, I do though. That's the thing. I, I do. I, I drive out here. Yeah. But like, oh, you, so you got how many multiple streams of income you got? Because like you having these multiple incomes coming in, and that's kind of making your life a bit more brighter, right? I mean, I ain't nowhere near where I want to be. But you, you know better than where you but be. But really, who yeah. is though? Because if you ask a ride, he probably say the same thing. I ain't never satisfied. And he made five hundred million now. That's true. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like he think he worth a billion. Yeah. yeah, I just it make it better because like. You could get comfortable on a nine to five and feel like, you know, this enough for me. That ain't enough. Like, mm. that ain't enough for me because I feel like I'm going to make ends meet regardless. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm going to make ends meet regardless. So I'm going to try to have as many multiple, I'm going to have multiple incomes as possible. Yep. That's what mm. I'm trying to do. But I'll be trying to set up stuff for my kids. I hadn't told them one time, like, by the time y'all turn 16, y'all need to be to come up with something. Yep. Like, my daughter, like, I hadn't reached out to um, Kayondra. Mm -hmm. I reached out to her because um I've been I've been trying to get my daughter to take the dispatching class. Okay. Mm -hmm. I reached yes. out to her because she was saying she was building the dispatching team. Exactly. And she was like, cool. That's and what she I'm even, saying. Like she even willing to help my daughter. Yeah. Though. Like, because uh, yeah. people that doing really stuff, they want to help yeah. you out. Like, yeah, that's I, so cool. So you probably heard about that on the podcast, right? I, I did. Exactly. <laughs> I I did. Saying, that's what we're doing the podcast for. Yeah. Like, just for so people to know. Because like, like, everybody ain't doing the same thing, but somebody doing something. I mm -hmm. met I met her. I met her boyfriend from the band. Yep. I met her because he, 
he, you know, he got a truck and yep. like, yeah, but I met him. Like he was doing it. He had a moving service and stuff. And I met him through that. Reached out. We just talked. We ain't never met in person. We always just used to talk through Instagram. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, he good, dude. Networking. Good. Yeah. That's all it's about. You mm-hmm. know somebody that need that service, you can help somebody else out with that service. I feel like what some people are coming to me with, he could off. He he was more established. He mm-hmm. can offer it better. Like, I can't do it, but he can. Yeah, he can. Yeah, or like vice versa. Like, if it's some contracts that he know, he sent, he'll send it to me. He don't try. He wasn't trying to hide the information. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You on the um, so you on dispatch, do you? I don't dispatch. Uh, do you? Well, my, you be on a low board. My, my partner do it. Okay, my all partner, that. He do all that. So like, you just like show up and whatever, and I just drive. Okay, yeah. That's so so simple and easy, you know. I try to get him to come on here with me. Say he ain't ready yet. Man, yeah. I, he ready, man. <laughs> yeah, he I, I talked to him. Yeah. Hey, see, he he the last time he told me that he want he don't want no cameras and stuff. He just talked to audio. Like no people yeah. got to see this because yeah, like. He, the, where you come from, like what you did to build what you got, is amazing. He gonna get it right because he 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 like he like the podcast. Yeah. He listened to the podcast yeah. and like me driving though that made me even listen to the podcast more because I be like you get tired of listening to this music. That's, that's how you got to the fifty one fifty. Fifty one, yeah, I like fifty one. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that nigga funny. Yeah, he don't get what he say. But that's how like me and Brad, like Brad working on. Well, I don't think you listen to a lot of podcast do you, Jern? Yeah, yeah I don't worry. Like me and Brad, we was there on. You know, at our job, our old job, he's still there or whatever. Listen, all we did, listen to podcast. Yeah. Brad always hit me, but Brad loved the Joe Budden podcast and stuff like that. He Joe Budden's great, attention and stuff. Joe Budden's great. <laughs> but Joe Budden's cool. Budden. I, I I listen to Brilliant Idiots. That's my favorite podcast. I ain't. That was Charlemagne the guy and Andrew Schultz. Andrew Schultz, the white dude. But it's crazy, like I said, oh, my bad, but with life or whatever, like the CD Ascension, because like uh, it's it, Ascension or whatever. Ascension. But like, yeah. <laughs> you know how I mess up a word. <laughs> but like I'm saying, like, I can say building in life, like seeing what your partner's doing, what you're trying to do or whatever, like just seeing these guys just, just having conversation or whatever. Now, one on like really the now top hip hop dude. Deep boy. I yeah. listen to Big Facts too. Big fat guy has some good guests on whatever. Yeah. I like um Big Bank or whatever. He got a good perspective. Yeah, yeah. And well, a lot of people yeah, like, like, like yeah, he they, be so, they be having on uh, old Charleston White on that dude. <laughs> that dude. I man. never even listened to a podcast of him before. Charleston White. I listened to some of eighty five side, but not too much. Charleston White, he's just a character. That know? man, that man, read on uh, DC Young uh, Fly though. Oh, what can't say nothing. Think so? What? I'm gonna have to listen to it. DC Young uh, Fly trying to make it out as a joke, but he was telling the truth about it. Oh, you heard it, Brad? <laughs> he uh-huh. wasn't telling the truth about it. What was what was the on um, topic? He was just saying what type of dude he is. Like he was just saying, just telling him what kind of person you is or whatever. And D- DC Young Fly, he was trying to get the crowd on to make him laugh and stuff. But shit, that man was still. A lot of people don't like him though, but he tell the truth. Yeah, I'm gonna have to yeah. listen. I'm gonna have they, to check A lot it out. of people don't like how he be saying like he a snitch. He gonna tell. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, niggas don't like hearing that yeah. type of stuff. Like you, you gonna tell. Yeah. So like that was I be seeing um him um putting these Cole Holcomb on. Clips up, and you always be on talking about him and stuff like so. People don't like so, him neither. So that's how you started with Cole Holcomb. He got like a huge following though. People don't understand yeah. how big his internet following is because that man tell the truth. The and truth. He talk about something that people don't want to talk about. Yes, the he, truth. He, the truth I, and relationship type stuff. Yeah, I been I been known about him, but I never my, my nephew Junior. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. He watched that all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like they, they, that's that's what he do. He watched. Yeah, and he used to always tell me. Then I seen y'all watching it too. I I was watching it with him one time, and it was funny. Yeah, <laughs> so, funny. Uh, when you on the road, do you got YouTube Premium? I I go to the podcast. I go I, I listen to y'all on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Like like Corey, you listen to it on you. You got YouTube, I never, you got I never, YouTube Premium. Mm-mm. Well, I feel like with you being a trucker, it's like man, we probably can add you to our line or whatever. It's like probably like thirty something dollars, like a year or whatever. But well, like ain't thirty something. It's like it's like about eighteen dollars a month. Well, man, have you to, have different I'm, people on there. I'm about to look out on y'all a few hours then. But you know, what happened like with, with YouTube or whatever? Because like you on you can leave your phone like so that you ain't got to be on YouTube the whole time. You can leave your phone and go do other apps. Because you know most people just got the regular YouTube. You get ads. You don't get, don't get no ads. Yeah. You don't get no ads. And it's just like anything else, like you can have oh. YouTube on and it go in the background. You feel me? You can do everything else on your phone while YouTube still playing. And you can download YouTube videos. So if you go through service where you know you don't have no service, you can just download some YouTube video. My home girl told me about that though. Yeah, yeah no ass. Know, and I'm telling you, it's, it's just more that. simple, man. Because like, like I said, with all these streaming apps or whatever, like last night we was watching the fight. I had got um downloaded with one of my cards, Showtime app, just to watch the free trial for thirty days. Like you yeah. just gotta have a little bit more knowledge. Man, People don't really use their mind. I get and think. that. I'm seeing y'all password to a few apps. That's how you gotta work. That's, that's how, how you do it. That's how that's how me, Carlos Trainer, do like. Yeah. With him, why I get not? A password. You got that one. You get that. One. We were just having the same conversation <laughs> yeah. with Brad about the stuff he was showing us. Like, why not 
included together because like it all we all gonna use it the same. Why yeah. get a corporation a hundred percent when they go they go tax it whatever we get anyway? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like just like taxes or whatever, like just life or whatever, man. Like adult adulthood. Like, like I said, yeah. get back to like you being on the road in the uh truck or whatever. You be by yourself or you be with uh partner yeah, every time. I'll be with KJ. I um next next month I'll be by myself. Be by yourself? Yeah, I'll be by myself. So how about you got a load for nineteen hours like you had seen me that time? That means you gonna have to you have to take naps get, or something. Okay. I can show you on my phone. You get a log. It's a log. You get, you gotta drive eight hours before you take a break. It's mm-hmm. called keep trucking. You drive eight hours. When eight hours show, you got you got a break. You got to take a thirty minute break. Some people you could do it on the paper, the yeah. paper lot. People cheat on the paper lot. I we do it off the um the, phone. Yeah, we do it like that. So you get that, then you got three, four more hours. Then you get two hours of personal surveillance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get that. So you try to drive as far as you can. Then if you don't make it. You got to do it at net until your, your time is set in 10 hours. Okay. Yeah, but if you got a partner, that truck might don't stop. Yeah, because you don't have to stop it really if you nah, can kind of like lap it together. Nah, because when my time stop, then he, his time, he can go. Yep. And we just, well, I'm talking about, we've been in that truck, man, four days straight, bro. That truck, that truck, that truck gonna need a little rest. I get to get ready when he put yeah. gas in it. For that, you stop. You stop and get gas and eat yeah, something. Yeah. But you ain't sitting down. Eating. What you kind of foods are you eating? Man, the fucking pilot. <laughs> the like, worst. I don't, me, me personally, nah. Talking about get, the pilot gas station. Yeah, when I'm a partner, nah, he go eat. He like chicken. <laughs> he like Popeye <laughs> stuff. But me, I don't like to stop. Mm. I don't like to stop. I like to get it done. So I'm gonna eat. If I can get gas and grass and eat at the same time, I'm gonna do it like that. Mm. Yeah. I ain't. I don't want to stop. I drive a whole eight street. If I drive a whole eight straight without stopping, I'm gonna do that. But some, you're gonna you're gonna have to stop for gas and stuff mm-hmm. here and there. Yep. But they hold you can go, you fill up, you can go about seven hundred miles. Seven hundred miles. One tank, you go about seven hundred miles. It take me back and forth to get here from Charleston like two hundred and something. Yeah, like, think about that's damn. That's right. right. That's right. Where we go from. Let me tell you, we went from from Maine to Florida, and then one day we went from back. I did that in like two times in a week, like Maine to Florida and Maine Florida to Maine, Florida and back. just ninety five. Yep, back back up and down. Back How up long that drive you? That shit might say. I mean, with you stopping and all, it might be like twenty hours. Twenty. Yeah, it might be twenty one hours. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, like they stopping for a little bit. You right back to truck. Right back, but I said, what you trying to do? Get back home to mm-hmm. your kids because like being on the road, like say like. Cause like you always used to be the daddy with your kids all the time, yeah. like all of with you in the, in the challenge yeah. or whatever. So what what's the difference? How, how you working that out? I mean, it, you know, it's different because like, and I and, and I I be understand. I might go back and forth with 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 my some of my baby mamas or whatever about it, but I understand their frustration because it's a big change to them. Like, bro, you picking them up out of school, you picking them up out of school, taking the school. Whenever they need you, you there. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like, okay, maybe some doctor's appointment you taking. Yep. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So that's what they used to. Yep. So if I tell you like I'm about to go on the road, like she she gonna they gonna feel like this all on me. You know what I'm saying? Until he here, you on the here on the weekend, ain't mm-hmm. nothing going on the yeah. weekend. Yeah. So I see that I, I get the point, but that's why I try to like take off. Financially, if I yeah. could take out like day daycare, and I don't, yeah. I don't ask them to split nothing with me. Mm-hmm. I don't ask them to split it. I just, you know, what I mean, yeah. Cause at the yeah. end of the day, right now, that's the best position that you long. Cause as a man, I just feel yeah. like long term, you know, you getting the most money you can go, and then you learn the stuff you learning because you got the hustler mindset, so you gonna yeah. own some stuff. So like, and like at the end of the day, you gonna be able to build that, and then you'll be able to take care of everybody in the long run. And like right now, that's, you got to get, you got to do what you doing now. I feel though. like exactly. you choosing you right now for once. You yeah, did. that's my thing. Like I look at the bigger picture. I look at the bigger picture. Like if I'm building this up. I build this up, this logistic business. And it might create more other businesses. When when my kids get older, if they don't want to play, go to college, they don't want to do that, they can fall back on that. And work for yeah. me or just they, they work can, part. Exactly. I my, my goal, business. I want my girls, I want my girls dispatching. I want my boys driving if that's where it goes. Like, yeah. We don't have no family, we don't we don't have no family business. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't have no family business. Exactly. Like we Th- don't. This can be what you built. Yeah. As, as in black people, who do got a family business? So why not start? Like my mama and daddy, they used to, like when I told them, and I value their opinion, so I waited till I know like 
this gonna work. But for even though I'm a grown ass man, yeah. I value their opinion. You so should though, because sure, they yeah, wilder than you. Yeah, I, I wanted to make sure it gonna work because, like, it failed. They like you leaving a job. You leaving. They stuck in that. You know that nine to five at yeah. night. But I try to show them like it's money in this. Yeah. Like y'all can do this. Like in this van, like y'all can do this and. And get but paid. You just gotta cut the middle man out. Mm-hmm. Cut the middle man out with the with the van. You gotta just cut. Them. That's the thing with the van. Cut the middle man out. Just like with anything in life. Think about it, if you get <laughs> straight to the plug, the source or whatever in the trees, yeah. in the drawers or something. Like you, instead of paying eight hundred, you get to pay six hundred. Exactly. And you get some money off the top, yeah. more money off the top. Exactly. Like, so like middle- it's how you keep it. Shout out to Big Eddie and Miss <clears throat> Brenda. Cause like you keep bringing them up. Like I say we know Big Eddie yeah. and Miss Brenda. Like they, I remember back when we was kid. Like I started saying yes, ma'am, and no, sir, because of them. Couldn't like, say lie. Yeah, you couldn't. You couldn't say. Cause in the yard, say draws. You gotta say underwears. Exactly. <laughs> you got to be like a quote unquote professional. Yeah. Say, I probably the cuss too. I probably my bad. But like she named puppy, puppy. Your puppy, mom. She like, did. That's why. Like that's history that we don't live in. Like so that like, your kids they don't even know this. Like I knew your daddy way before y'all knew mm-hmm. y'all. Then like that's how y'all did in situation like y'all never saw. Mm-hmm. Hey, you remember that situation? That party was at with that beer and that person laying on the table. <laughs> I just thought about that in my head. You know, we, we was at a, uh, a log cabin. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> y'all was there. Yeah, I, hey, I had hey, Sal. <laughs> hey, Sal, you had a, oh, oh, shit a beer. Got, shit got crazy. Yeah, it got crazy out there. Sal had to pull the bill down somewhere. Like, hey, he went to go find to find a bill, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see if it makes different with the bill. That's yeah, that's, <laughs> all, that's all it was. Boy, I didn't know you oh, remember, you remember it. everything. It was crazy. Boy, boy shout out to your mom. Because like, they really like taught us some life learning lessons or whatever. Like, yeah. It's like we really was built on that street. Think yeah, about like, it, though, a little respect bit. Respect and all like, that. Y'all don't know, like. Like coming up, I ain't had no little brother. Yeah, I ain't had no little brother. So like when y'all used to come there, like okay, we y'all know how we used to. I was, I was rough on y'all. Yeah. I was real rough. Like Pat and like man, y'all going in the house crying or something. I'm rough on y'all, but I looked at y'all like my little brother. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Think about it. Ain't nobody else come over there and do that though. No, and I, no, I always tell people you taught me that. how to do time because you taught me like twelve times twelve is hundred forty four. Yeah. If you do like eleven times eleven, that's one twenty one. Like every yeah. time ten times one, that's ten. Ten times two is twenty. Mm. That's really how oh, I yeah, learned. Most, yeah, that's really how I learned <laughs> multiplication. For I real wasn't though, no, I wasn't no smart nigga. I just was older than y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Older than yeah. like, that's just like I mean, I'm like. Oh, he was like we, we was younger than you, so like we, we was like like you was older brother to us, so we yeah. wouldn't appear to you. But on your bed, he had my bed. He had called it his own wood. My best friends, Trey and Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> my best friend. I don't even remember that. Yeah, you, you had, I had the bunk bed. Uh, yeah, the bunk bed. Yeah, yeah that called in your bed. My best friend. Nah, 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 that's so sweet. Uh, no, my dog, no more. I still to this day. Yeah, yeah, I take crazy, a bullet for the But the crazy man. thing about this, like, I can get somber or whatever, but like. Last year, this same week, this mm-hmm. come out this Tuesday with a podcast called LLTB. Yeah. Long live they run. And like um, we had man up on the podcast. That and was, like it's crazy mm-hmm. to say that you here a year later and like like I feel you was the closest to they run or whatever, which if his mama listened, Theron, it was the yeah, closest. Yeah. It, it was um, you was the closest to him. So like shout yeah. out to him. Like, let's talk about like, you know, like just a good memory, like, cause I said that. that, that I mean, that video is like, so oh fun. We might have to drop that in the. Um, yeah, we got to drop that in there right now. I got, I got so many memories in my phone. Think, but I don't got but good memories of them though. All I got is good memories. All we got is just a fun time. I'm talking about every day I used to count on. This man man gave me. I can show y'all. I can show y'all in my phone right now the old text message. This man sent me a. uh, (laughs) This man sent me a uh, profile picture of his baby mama's sister. He didn't realize who it was. He said, Boy, so I'm about to say this motherfucker fine. <laughs> 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 <He's> like, <laughs> He's nasty because like, I like you. Know, he, he came around nuts for that period of time. You know, like we were yeah. just so all he get every day or whatever, just mm-hmm. chilling and stuff. Go, I named it T Nasty because like, like I say, I always just look on his phone. You know, it was on his phone or whatever. This man, yes. this man, favorite thing used to always be. But we gonna have some story to tell our son <laughs> yeah. and Bo. Just, talking about a, a good daddy, like I say, like just like you, like exactly. he always around his kids. One thing one, that man was his good daddy, man. Like seriously, like not just just not just to his kids. Like he the type of dude, if if he bring he bring his kids something to eat, 
It's a hundred kids there. A hundred kids gonna eat. He look mm-hmm. not. He gonna be a hundred half of me is coming. Yeah. He definitely yeah, he always look not. Like the smallest man in the biggest truck. The biggest yeah. truck. I remember we had that big old truck. Yeah. They yeah. used to be coming to the crib every day, dog. Yeah. Cause just life and stuff, man. Like how it's like um the dude that had um got killed yesterday um from the still Dwayne Haskins. Dwayne Haskins. Like how fast life can just change, you know? Mm-hmm. Like you never know what anybody going through or we don't even know what happened to Dwayne Haskins, do we? Nope. I heard he um he was on the interstate and his car ran out of gas and he I think he was trying to walk to like the nearest interstate interstate you know interstate or whatever not that nearest interstate but somebody the nearest exit him. yeah and somebody hit him that's like, you know cars don't be getting over mm-hmm. right like, if a car broke down the side of the road you are supposed to get over right, cars exactly. don't be getting over yeah no nah. yeah nah, nah. they don't get over that's another mm-hmm. thing yep. They don't get he got hit by a dump truck, ain't that something like that? I don't know what he got hit by, but that's what they say he was at that's on the interstate. Crazy. But what I say, like I say, us, like I say, I'm, I be out gigging, so I be on the road a lot too, just seeing how traffic is or whatever. Mm-hmm. When it get dark, you cannot see anyone. So like, as a person in the road, you got to be adherent to like this person might can't see me, and I so mm-hmm. like I need to be getting as far away from anywhere that he can hit me at any. Cause like I say, when that truck hit those two cars, they was pulled over, changing the flat tire. So, <laughs> oh God. COVID. But anyway, like the crazy thing, like <laughs> anyway, like they, they pulled by, pulled by, and like just that split second, he went to sleep. By the same time, he was passing two cars. Like it wasn't no cars on the rest of the road. And or whatever. he didn't realize what he didn't did. Exactly. But he, he lied about it. And he, then, like, you know, I know he fired. He panicked, though. Yeah. Exactly. He panicked. So you, you they, they, they had a camera on the inside of the arm. Um, yeah, when you hear something, that camera come on. Yeah, and he was like, yeah, you hit it. You start. Y'all got cameras stuff. in y'all trusses? Not yet. Okay. Yeah, not yeah. yet. Yeah. But like, I just feel like just like the road or whatever. Like, it's a D. Like everybody, like it's, it should be a system. Like you see, like on the game or whatever, how like Grand Theft Auto, the cars always go to a system. But like, just know every one of these cars, someone is driving in these cars. Like they just might, somebody might be texting, somebody just not not paying attention mm-hmm. at all. So you always got to be. Yeah, that split second you don't pay attention, and a lot can go mm-hmm. wrong. That's yep. why, like, whenever and you might come up. I try to look at my GPS because it showed me where it's going to be a traffic jam. Mm-hmm. When I'm coming up on that traffic jam, I'm going to cut my blankets off. Mm-hmm. I want to let them know, like, you finna, you finna come. You finna slow yeah. down. Yeah. Yep. But everybody don't ride with a GPS. That's, just, that's the truth, though. I, I ride with Waze. I do ride with Waze. I, I, I be in Polo. 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 I be driving too with you and shit like that, man. I be in Polo. I be up, man. Hey, it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't too late. We, bro, it's still in the middle. I got something else on the horizon. Nah, I want to drive. As he should. I, I, it's, always a, it's always something on the horizon, but the horizon is for me to be doing what I want to do every day. That's yeah. the truth, though. I do love doing what I, I can do all day or level, but it's still on my side. It's like I got to figure out a way to get to the level that I think I should be at or whatever because it's, it, it just gets me down because I feel like, like I say, I, the 2020 I had was the 2020. Uh, like you know, it's like it's it's storybook in my opinion because all the things I wanted, I got it because I feel like I worked so hard for it. And but it's like now it's like I feel like I work hard, but it's like man, I, I worked so hard in 2020, like stuff happened for me that I was working hard for. It's like back when I used to go to Franklin Fun Park, it was one time I went there. I was like, I'm gonna win this jackpot, and it's like one of those spinning machines yeah. or whatever. And I kept playing. That's all I played the whole time. I spent all my money doing it, but I won the jackpot. Wow. I won like a thousand, a thousand eighty nine tickets. And like back then, you know, I was bought it. They, yeah. they, they had to go get me some more tickets to keep spitting them out. I'm just chilling there, like yeah, these <laughs> my tickets right here, or whatever. But like it just because I had that goal to get it. And like the goals now is so big, so astronomical that hey, you still I, I think I, I do believe I can get them. But it's like they ain't hit, hit in my face and like that's that's life for you. Patient. I mean yeah. you're human man you human so you gonna go through stages where you're gonna feel some type of way you might even feel like giving up sometimes what but that ain't an option it's not an option yeah and what's like just like with this podcast like I drive from Charleston to do this or whatever like this is a big sacrifice and like mm-hmm. I did but it's my passion like this is something like five years from now I want this to be taken off so far but if it didn't take off so far if it just took off I'll be fine with that too because this yeah. song I just love. Yeah, we just love doing this. Regardless. Like, yeah. think about it. Like I said, if one year we really did be the, <clears throat> be like a part of the pie. I mean, the, the portrait fest was like we really like we they got us hosting the events like the main yeah. events. They're like that'd be so cool to me. But it ain't maybe that ain't our cards this year. But we keep working hard. It oh. could be in our cards. Y'all just keep going, keep striving, bro. That's what like, everybody Trust say. Just keep going just keep because striving, you know, like, say like you just day by day knocking down bricks. Yeah. Keep Chopping trees, you did like like you been on the road like yeah. it the the start of it it probably wasn't the best thing or whatever you know like you learn it every day you learn like you go to a stop like dang I got to deal with these people I got to deal with this bad receiver you don't have deal receivers I like what I do I'm just saying like it'll be like <laughs> I mean um, I go in there I talk to them I, I go in there and talk to them or whatever but they be cool I get I out know like them. at Walmart you don't have to go to Walmart do you but if I go if if I if I I call if I can't just get in contact but I go. 
I go knock on the shipping and receiving. Nah, they they be knowing what's up. I know the receivers just be assholes sometimes. It's like, why are you so mean for? I be I be so jolly in that motherfucker. But that's how you, you yeah, kill people yeah, with that kindness. Yeah, like, they, they in can't. the situation, I'm like, sure. You told me that kill, kill it with kindness. Yeah, he yeah. was telling me about a situation you was talking about and stuff like in life yeah. or whatever. You kill people with positive energy. Like at the end of the day, you can't continue to be mad at somebody that's giving you mm. nothing but positivity. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. Like how you deal with it? Like get to another like say dang his eyes fucked up. We watching it's a boxing match on. <laughs> you know, like in relationships or whatever, like dealing with four different baby mamas. I mean, think how about it. How you keep the peace? Think about it, bro. Like, okay. Uh, four baby mama, five kids. How many different personalities that is? Yes. That's nine right there. That's nine you're dealing with, but I ain't a human. Mm-hmm. I mean, I might understand they got feelings. Everybody got feelings, so I mean, I just, a lot of stuff I don't entertain. I used mm-hmm. to entertain, like, if it's something I feel like we ain't going to agree on, we're going to just have to agree to disagree. Yeah, yeah I'm about like, to say, what, what, go ahead. I ain't finna go no social media. I ain't blast you. Yeah. I ain't finna do none of that. You do what you do. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what go make you feel better about it. Yeah. You do that. But at the end of the day, you're going to be like, damn, you're going to apologize. Yeah. Like, you're going to apologize. You're going to be right. Yeah. But I just, man, I try to be reason. My baby mamas, I ain't, they don't beef. They never beef. Yeah. If That's I was good. With, That's they don't beef. Like, I try, this is what I try to do. I try to keep my kids close like, um, they, they all got the same mama. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I try to keep them close like that. And that's how it should be. That's that's smart. Yeah, that's I, that's how I want them to be, and I want yeah. them to stay like that. Like my two youngest, Buki and EJ, now they re, they real close. They yeah. real close. Like Caden, when he moved, like Caden to move to Paisley, he don't get to be down here as much. So yeah. like, I try to go. I, now I try to go down there on a Friday so he can have more time. Yeah. But you know, I understand. Like he got they they want to do stuff with him. He got his yeah, life yeah, too like, down yeah, there. Like, but she like like his Tiana, Tiana very understanding. Like mm-hmm. yeah. she very understand. I, she don't, she don't, I, we ain't never going to hate You know what I'm saying? It seems like you got a very smooth relationship, yeah, like a very good co parenting yeah, situation. Yeah, and I don't have a problem with her husband. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like That's how it's ain't. supposed to be. A-Rod said he took a vacation with his kid and took his, oh, his ex-wife and her husband. It's like, that's the 2020 relationship, co parenting relationship. But that shit come with growth. Like, I ain't, yeah. I ain't, I ain't, like, okay. You can't still have feelings I ain't always been, you can't. If, if, if you still got feelings for a person and you messing with a person, that shit, it gonna crash. Yeah, it gonna crash. Like, it's something you gonna do something, or they gonna do something that you ain't gonna like. Mm-hmm. Now nah, we beef. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, I ain't out. Like, okay, my my two oldest mama. I ain't always been in love. I'm on with her. Yeah, that's my motherfucking dog. Though. Yeah, yeah, that's my dog. Like, yeah, y'all been together for life. Yeah, that's my dog. Like, yeah. nothing sexually. Nothing. Want, she don't want me. We talk about. She talk about her, her friends. I talk about like just like that. Mm-hmm. But women, what women believe that though. They ain't got to believe. That's the thing. This, you know where I'm at. I don't give up. I ain't go. People go, what? I don't finna cut. But I don't care what nobody believe. I don't care what nobody think. Mm, like, yeah. as long as I know. Like, I don't care. Like, okay, me and my, my youngest daughter, mama, we ain't always been, we ain't the best, but we cool. We yeah. cool. It's no bad blood. My youngest, my youngest, me and her, we probably, probably bump heads. The most he the youngest, though. They don't say just, I done been that same. Newer. I done, Yeah, I done been there with so the So the feelings others. are leaving. Like, you know, that they ain't as lit gone yet because, right. like, you've been, like, y'all was attached recently. I mean, we stay together or whatever, but, yeah. like, it's, that's, that's, a, that's a closed chapter. Like, yeah. I wish it the best, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, that's I wish it the best. Like, I done been through my phases where, like, I try to fix it all. You want to yeah, get your family back. But everybody you think that, about though. it, though, bro. Like, I got five kids, four baby mamas, not with them, one of them. Mm-hmm. I say I can't keep having kids with these women and not with them one of them. That's the truth, yeah. though. Like, cause like, yeah, boy, like, <laughs> hey, yeah. woman, can, like, yeah. like, he talked to her with shit like, oh, okay. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah, my name, yeah, this, this, that. So, How many kids you got? Five. Yeah, <laughs> like, How many baby you got? Four. Oh, God. Yeah, so I'm like, damn. And I, and, and I always told her, I, I, I always told her, though, you gonna be, you gonna be straight with or without me. You gonna mm-hmm. win. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And that's what you hope from your uh, I kids. Do. I don't. I don't want to see them fail. Yes, I don't. That's still your kids. Like, we beef. We may beef, but I, I don't, don't want to see, see them fail. fail. Yeah. We gonna beef now. We we be. I'm past that, bro. I yes. Yeah, like you gotta like me. I'm not very confrontational. Mm. Like I'm not confrontational. You gotta like push me, push me to like. Now when I get there, I'm disrespectful. I got, you gotta I'm be disrespectful. Just, but when I get there, I'm like I'm very disrespectful. Yeah. Like once I get there. Yeah. But. You gonna have to keep hitting me, hitting yeah, me. Yeah, you gotta keep. Just, yeah, I mean, say I'm relaxing now. He about to get yeah. granddaddy. <laughs> <laughs> I got to look at him. Hey, but hey, we got we got a, we got a new segment. You heard our new segment last week. 
What? We got a new segment called Cup of Thoughts. Where yeah. we got, we go, we just pull up this little thing out of a cup and mm-hmm. we read it and we just talk about it. Okay. We should have a drop for it, but yeah. maybe next week. But yeah. this a cup right here. It's just a little styrofoam cup. Right? <laughs> we need it. We need a mold. <laughs> read it out. I, I don't know. I ain't got a mold. Read it. Read, Shut read up, one bitch. out. You gonna read it out? <laughs> I read one out. Let me. Let me uh, Good. Make sure it's a different one than last week. Right. So let's see what Sal got to say. I think we said this last week. How did this man go pick up a one from Lad? That's why I gotta take them out or whatever. Well, yeah, man. Like, I, I got some more questions to ask you about, like, Facebook, too, after we all. Uh, yeah, know. I'm open book. I just ain't, I ain't finna take it there, like. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, you can't, though. You yeah. got, I, I understand that. I gotta take them in consideration, too. All right, boy, you gonna get in trouble. Don't get yeah. yourself in trouble on here. I but, definitely won't. The first question would be Can you be 100% pro black in a interracial relationship? I don't think. Me neither. I don't believe so. Yeah. You I can't be 100% pro-black sleeping white. I don't think so. You just you just what, can't. What makes you say that? Because how can you be when how you can sleeping you know white? What I'm saying? I ain't saying you're wrong with feeling <laughs> like that. I'm just asking like why yeah. you think that though. I believe that because it just it's like water and oil. Water is not going to mix with oil. You can't be pro-black saying you 100% pro-black. But you go home to a white woman every Kareem, night. Kareem, J- I do what Jabbar did. And Bo, I'm not. Kareem, I do what boy is not 100% pro-black then if you go home to a white woman yeah. every day. I heard because this he's, I heard this question before. No, because he's going to give his money and legacy towards white folks, kind of. If his wife takes his money, where's his money going? She to the white know. congregation. I mean, what if she got her own bag already, though? But she also going to get some of his. I mean, that's how relationships go. Normal. Exactly. That's why you can't be 100% <laughs> it just, But it just so happens to be different colors and different races. No, it's nothing yeah. wrong with it. Right. it I'm, ain't that, I, I'm not, I'm not yeah. saying that either. I'm just saying it's, yeah. it happens. Like, I don't. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's life. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like, yeah. like I said, right. so you feel like I don't see myself with a white woman, but if a white woman was just that bad right. and she was just that cool. <laughs> Right. I date a white woman. I, 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 I don't. I don't. I don't mess with white women. Yeah. I never got in a relationship with a white woman. So you feel like? So you feel like if you you couldn't be like the front line if you had a white woman? I don't like. Let me tell you, bro. It's going back to my parents. <laughs> my mom and them always told me it don't matter what color, no matter what, long as you happy. Yeah. Well, I ain't. He ain't talking about that. With you the, saying the like, question. oh, you can't. For as that, you saying like. I feel like you, you go. You should be with whoever you want to be. Yeah, with. Yeah, you should. But yeah, you can be with, with the question. Nah, I don't think you can though. You can't. You think so though, Jerry? You think you can? If you want to be yeah. coon ass nigga. <laughs> if you want to be? <laughs> yeah, I like. I mean, I think it, it's gonna be like just little simple things that gonna throw that question off. You, got, you right, gotta right, take right. red. You gotta take. Oh yeah, I hear red. I gotta take. <laughs> but like, I just, I mean, I believe you can. You can stand there with the people. But I think if, but you just gotta be thinking about the blow black. The, the the blow back or whatever <laughs> you know you gotta be thinking about that because like you see like the, this court jet this court woman or whatever mm-hmm. she she got a the center she got um a supreme court or whatever supreme she got a white man or whatever so like you look at her like okay like she the first black person but in my opinion i would love to have saw someone in there with a whole black family and like so like she right now like her family like she's not saying her family ain't black but her husband ain't black they so. gonna always judge you off, off like yeah, yo. You saying this? You standing on this and now that? Your party is a choice. Yeah, like you can choose to be interracial, or you can choose to be with your kind. But you, you also but, at the same time can't choose who you love. So. You can choose who you love though. If you choose to not like white women, you won't fall in love with a white woman. Not true though. <laughs> but that's not true. That's not true though. <laughs> How is that but, true? You know what I'm saying? If you choose to not like white women, right. you won't fall in love with a white woman. But not not to say that because like if you had a, if you were at the job or whatever, and like you just you come there pro black or whatever, like saying like I ain't gonna never be with a white. But you get this conversation with this white woman, and she's just saying, blowing your mind. If like you just this choose type, to like I'm not gonna. Deal with talks, white women. Yeah, die, I mean, deal with white women at all. You right. not gonna fall in love. Like Umar Jones, you talking about like how Umar Jones yeah, thing? Like, saying. I just can't do do that. Yes, like, <laughs> that saying, dude. You won't have a choice. <laughs> that dude, man. That guy. Right there when Umar drops yeah. over here. Man. I like <laughs> Umar Jones over here, man. Coon ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you you like you you know, you on that level? No, no, I ain't on that level. <laughs> no, 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 I'm definitely. Not. I'm just. Saying, I'm gonna say. I'm just playing devil's advocate. I'm gonna say you know. You feel me? Yeah, come on, yeah. man. Come on. I, I, this ain't nobody that don't know you. Exactly. <laughs> this ain't nobody that don't know Let, you. Let me find the next question. <laughs> hey, uh, they ain't nobody that don't know you. <laughs> you, you done died. You done died in that vanilla before. Come on, man. Like, hypocrites, hypocrites over here. <laughs> I mean, 
this is a good question, but nobody knows it, but we can still try to answer it. Hippocrates. Hippocrates. <laughs> How long will you be remembered when you die? We haven't died yet, so we don't know. But it could be a good question to ponder. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, no, is that how 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 long how, will you be remembered when you die? Basically, saying that's exactly what I said. <laughs> that's exactly what I said. No, but, but I'm gonna explain why I wrote that. Cause I wrote this question with it because like saying like some people remember for that week, some people remember right. for that year. Goddamn, Michael Jackson still remember to this day. So how long do we feel like we will be remembered? I want to this day. Me personally, I want to be remembered. Like I can say, I hear about the sleeping preacher from Baseball Major Perry. I hear about. You know, just different people that don't live throughout our town. I at least want to be in our Wikipedia. I, I want to go Baseball Leeds via the Wikipedia, and my name is there. I think it depends on who you are to that person. It depends on who that person. Some people go always remember. Yeah, no, like, yeah. like I don't mean the whole town go always remember you. Mm-hmm. But I see me personally, I want to be. Whole, I want to go so hard, get to a level where. Now the whole no town, butt to dude, you want to fuck a fucking statue in Baseball? Yeah, no, yeah. Like I said, <laughs> no, I'm I, just I, saying. That's I, I how you want to be on the Wikipedia yeah. page. I, I go to the Wikipedia page, they be like, notable people. And you go see some of the athletes that mm-hmm. came through. Like, Why well, can't be media personality? Yeah. Jamar Jones and that my mother trucker. He, they they built mm-hmm. a big ass podcast and like it was really popping in the state. Ain't nobody, least. ain't nobody from our time. No podcast, but I don't say. But I feel so like why I mean, it could be. It could yeah. be. But it, it how, could how, be. how it can be though is if the whole state showed us that same love that our hometown showed us. It, and it, I ain't saying we ain't gonna. Oh, I'm finna say it's well, a strong. I, I that's yeah. the only way yeah. we could be in a Wikipedia if the whole state showed us that love. Like our town, they're like, okay, the hometown showed us that love. But I feel like the people from the outside gotta pour that in. That's yeah. what I'm saying because you, 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 one of the few, like Brad, one of the few, not a few, but like not. I guess it's people that do rock with what we're doing from afar, but y'all rock with what we're doing from up close. And like y'all can give us, like, you know, it's yeah. just showing and proving, like, yeah. you can give us suggestions or whatever and the things we're doing. Yeah. But I, so, I, me personally, that's how I want to be, I, that's how long I want to mm. remember forever in the storybook. Yes. So how long you want to be remembered? Like saying, I, forever? Yeah. Yeah, forever. Like, like Tupac. <laughs> like, I want to be remembered forever. Yeah. And that's one thing I, um, um, damn birthday. When we was at the um, grave site, that's what I told him. Like, I ain't, really, I ain't no person that really talk in front of no crowd, but I would just tell him like, just don't forget them. Yeah, like always remember. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Keep his name Release alive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Release the that's, that's, uh-huh. that's 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 just don't forget him. I think about this all the time too. Like you talking about talking in front of people, because I always been very nervous of that. But yeah. the things we doing now is like, I guess I'm preparing for that because. That's something I want to do. And that's yeah. something I feel like I will have to do one day. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I'm practicing that right now just to be ready for that time period. Yeah. Like because like with you, with your knowledge or whatever, you at some point in time, if you want to be the head of a company, then people are gonna be you're gonna be the leader. Yeah. So you're gonna have to be the person that people are coming to to listen to. And yeah. if you're over there mush mouth, not being able to elocute your points or whatever, nobody ain't gonna wanna listen to that. They ain't gonna yeah. take your knowledge. But that's why I say I got a lot of knowledge in my head and I do mess up a lot of words and it makes me feel like, you know, I do gotta get better at it. Why? Because like people Might not take me as serious as other people that can talk a little bit better. Y'all ain't no dumb niggas though. Y'all, y'all intelligent. Like Mm. I ain't saying that shit because I know y'all. Y'all intelligent. Like you may, you may fumble over some words, okay? But look what words you trying to say. Yeah, (laughs) that's true. Like people might don't even know the meaning of the word what you trying to say. Yeah. So I heard a word today that I heard on poor my opulent. I like it, that word. It's yeah. like it means like lavish, rich, and stuff. Yeah. Like, I've been say, please do describe. I'm trying. <laughs> I really I'm trying do. To I really my opulence. I pick up a one. We'll do one more. Or whatever. Then I got one more. I got a couple more questions to ask him or whatever. But opulent. How long you want to remember though, journey before we start? How long I remember? Because you got kids, so you're gonna remember you forever. But like who you like? I said, how long will you be remembered? Because I feel like you part of this, you are gonna be remembered forever too. But you personally, that's a fact. If I'm where I'm at, where I want to be in the next five years, man, I say. After I die, I probably remember 25, 50 years, man. Yeah, so that you did, did something. Yeah, yeah, did something. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be remembered, you know? That but I don't, know about, I don't know about no statue or nothing. Yeah. Probably, but they might, that'd be dope, though. Exactly. That'd, be dope. That'd, be dope. that'd be dope. That'd be dope as hell. Having a statue back in your hometown and shit, that'd be dope as hell. I feel like life a game, man. It's all about just putting up points on the board with whatever you're doing. Like I say, a big resume. Like your life is a, a resume. A life score. You know, like credit score, a life score. What you been doing out here? But the next question is, what's one thing you are still searching for in life? Um, well, boy, <laughs> we on the same same money train because I need this financial freedom. <laughs> yeah. And like I need peace. Because 
having money do bring you such a different type of peace because a relationship gonna take your peace but if you still get your money you still got that peace you know like i got money i got stuff i can go get another woman it's always a better woman a more attractive woman not there for you always not really though because if you like, yeah, it is I mean, I feel it's like a billion money, women money, money help you cope with a lot of different stuff. Mm. Like, yeah, because if you only like, want that one person, like it ain't about like. But going you can't it. only just want that one person if that one person don't want you back. That's the truth, though. That's man. why it's always somebody better, because it's always gonna be somebody out there that wants you the same way you want them. So yeah. if the person that you want don't want you, you got to find somebody that wants you the same way you want them. Yeah, true. Okay. That. What's the question again? What's one thing you oh, are well. still searching for in life? Yeah, I'm searching for what you searching for, John. Um, abundance of everything that I feel like I need to need to do for. I mean, we'll need to provide for myself and my kids. Pretty you much, get them you know, whatever they yeah, want. Yeah, you feel me? Like still, abundance of that. Like, I know. You, I think yeah. the same thing because, like, yeah. you think you need this amount of money, but you just need the amount of money to make right. all your people happy, mm-hmm. bro. When I say my prayers, I don't pray to be rich. All right. I pray to be in position. To take care of everybody. Exactly. Yeah, I don't pray to I, every Put time, people in position. I, I pray to be in position to take care of everybody. I don't never mm. pray to be rich. Like I say, think about buying your mom the car she want yeah. or like to get them the house they want or like to take get them the vacation and, they want to go on. And like, oh, I, I look at it like, I don't know if, you know, I ain't got like I'm heavy in the church. I do believe in God, but I ain't heavy in the church like that. But like, I be feeling like when I, when I be praying, and then certain situations come. It might be a person asking me for money or uh, to do this, do that. I feel like that'd be God testing me to yeah. prepare me whenever he do bless me with that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you're going to be the leader of the family. Yeah, so is you going you gonna, to you gonna help this person? Yeah. So I, I don't really, like, I don't really tell people no. Like, that's, I don't really. That's a, it could be, it could be, a, be a bad trait. Yeah, it yeah. could be a gift and a curse. I don't, if I tell you no, I don't got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, if I tell, if I got it, Cause you hate people, you hate letting people down. Basically saying yeah. you don't like telling people no, you don't want to let them yeah. down. Cause we so, always choosing other people as far as like men. Yeah. Cause like we can't never just choose ourselves first. But when we do choose ourselves, we the bad person. Yeah. Right. We the normalize that. Like, yeah. Like basically that's society. Something we normalize. Society yeah. and the normalize that. What like we say, men can't go to nobody. Yeah. Men gotta just bottle up what's going on with their life. If they going yeah. through something, who to lean on? Yeah. Themselves. Yeah, they gotta lean on themselves because the life money. Is tough. But if you ain't that's get why the you money, gotta go get it. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's why I say going to get money as a man, you can't choose somebody else over yourself because nobody ain't gonna never have you the way you got you. Man, Young Dolph said, "I just got the bad, not everything lit." Yeah, my that's man, it. my partner. He said, "Man, he said I take my head off what you do." He said, "But on this journey you on, it's gonna be a lot of mad people like." Gonna be a lot of mad people because you you trying to get where you need to go, but at the end of it, they gonna be all right because yeah, you get yeah, where you, about you it. yeah you getting where you need to go financially. Once mm-hmm. you get there, everybody's great. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Mm-hmm. Like you gonna have it's a lot of stuff. He was like, I, I told him basically like what I'm used to doing. Like yep. what I'm, he was like, uh, it's kind of hard to do that when you're doing this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I I, I weigh I weigh my options. Rich, like, rich reward. Yeah, I wear my arsenal. I feel like I just I got to do this. This is what I need to do to get way the lifestyle I want. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The lifestyle it's I sacrifice. want. Sacrifice everything you doing. Like you got to sacrifice something to get to something you going. Yeah. Like say like if you we we always talk about this all because it'd be a lot of time. One night we was in here like it was a Friday night. <laughs> Damn, I'm coughing. But we was in here on a Friday night just printing up shirts or whatever. Like, a lot of people probably at the club just enjoying their life, just entertaining themselves. We literally yeah. working on something that can, like, really entertain them, mm-hmm. you know? And put them on their body or whatever. It's a different mindset or whatever. Like, because mm-hmm. you know? yeah. I'll tell you, like, the 2019, we played the game the whole year on the game, playing Grand Theft Auto, playing Red Dead Redemption online every night, basically, like, for two or three hours or whatever. I get out of work yeah. straight on the game straight on online. Play, cause it was fun because we hadn't done it so long or whatever. But December 31st, 2019, we said we're going to start a podcast and we're going to just – Take our life to another level, and right. like we did. I remember y'all first used to talk about it back when, long Jay, time Jay, when Matt out stayed. I remember y'all bought like yeah. Mike, y'all was buying stuff back yeah. then. You know what I'm saying? The thing yeah. about how long that we was ago. We chilling at High. The process. Yeah. Like you just like you, you think about the end, but you gotta get there. I look at it like how y'all saying on the weekend. Me, if it wasn't for like seeing you know my parents and stuff, mm-hmm. and my kids on the weekend, like on my weekend, like when I get by myself. 
on the weekend I don't have my kids, I'm not coming home. Yeah. I'm gonna work the whole weekend. I ain't coming home. I'm just gonna stay out there. Yeah. Like on the weekend I got my kids and stuff, I'm come home and stuff. But I feel like I, if I could work seven days, I'm gonna work seven work days. Hobby too, too, single yeah. male out here. Especially yeah. as your own entrepreneur boss per se. Yeah. I, so how much that you do you see your parents because I live in Charleston, so that's two hours away. So I don't see my mom or my stepdad as much as I should. And I don't even talk to him as much as I should, but I do still got the same amount of love. I come home, I come home every weekend, and one of them stop, go be see Brendan Eddie. You got to I be? I don't care how long, that got to be. Yeah. That got to be because anything can happen. That's the truth. I'm going to go by my mom's house when I yeah, live here. That's, that's just one thing I got to do. Because, like, you could procrastinate. That's the truth, though. This week, that week. And stuff like Something Dwayne happened. Haskins stuff happened. Like, you never. Yeah, I'm going to definitely going to see like, you know, I look at it like this. Since this COVID, this COVID shit came, it's people going out of here at all different type of ages, bro. That's the truth, though. Like, you just never know. Perfect, people at perfect health. Yep. And checking out. Like, so therefore, like, that a kid, you was, you was like, I'm going to see my mama. Well, nah, I'll wait go see her next week. And then Bam. something. Yeah, that's so damn yeah. true, though, whatever. Now like, it's on your mind for the rest yeah. of your life. Yeah. And you got to live with it. Like, so you're going to be thinking, like, I should have did this. I should have did that. Did you see? Did you hear about this killing in Sacramento? What um, it was six people got killed at a club one night. And why? Why I mention this because like you, uh, I just say like people just don't know like what how their life, how fast life is. Yeah. They don't care like animalistic per se because like I mean I'm, I'm gonna short this story, but I'm gonna say this this man, this Mexican that had got killed in the situation. Six people got killed. It was like a gang quote unquote shootout or whatever. But he was in the video that night in the live that night before they went to the club and stuff like, but they gonna tell me take this down tonight. I mean in the morning when they see this stuff, they're just repping their gangs and stuff, guns pointing and stuff. He didn't make it to the next morning. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like because life people just take life so not serious in my yeah. opinion because mm -hmm. like you can make one mistake and like man i don't get a chance to go out to them dreams that i thought i was gonna get to go to because like nobody know like Dwayne haskin like i said you, he had videos on his snap the day <sighs> before he didn't know that his last hours that dude on that camera didn't know that was his last hours like last hours on his earth or whatever he was talking about like what people gonna be talking about in the morning but you don't even know if you're gonna make he it to the morning gonna mm -hmm. make it to the morning when they say exactly. that you know yeah but hard transition because like um, I gotta ask you this question. We always have to ask people this question when they on the on the podcast. Like, especially since you was on, we was on state championship team or whatever. Shout out yeah. to the football team. Give me your top five or at least top three football, football player you feel. Um, one of my favorite running backs, Sherman Scott. That's my favorite. Um, it's your favorite player of all time. I like Sherman. Um, I'm just saying because I ain't get to see everybody. Yo, nobody. So man. I can't say like like I remember them talking about Reggie Mitts. I never seen him. Yeah, yeah. I never seen him. Even though he's red deaf, I never seen him play. Yep. Um, I say, I like, I like little T. You like Dan Wilson? I like yeah. little T. This running back, that's just that position. Yep. My my favorite linebacker, um, and I don't know if it may be because I played with him was Rico Bell. Okay, I mean, so you, you play? Like, it's so why you said that? Cause you quote unquote mimic the I, way he played. The man knew. The man knew the the field. He know the plays. Like yeah. he didn't need no coach to call no play. Yeah, cause you you was like the next after Rico. I was rap, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, it's almost like you played quote unquote like him or whatever. Like that's I, like, that, yeah, like I, I, that man yeah. knew. He knew the he knew the, the plays and everything. Yeah. The man know the angles. He wasn't even like the fastest. But he know the angles to take mm. to hit the fastest person. Yeah, yeah he had that tight number one jersey on. Boy, yeah. Yeah. But he was tight he with it. Like, 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 I was at like two thirty in yeah. high school. Yeah. Like, yeah, like he ain't gonna name nobody on my team though. Nah, yeah. it ain't it ain't that because no, look at it. Y'all boys are good. No, I ain't talking about that's a, uh, me personally. My number one is forty. I, so right back. Yeah. And, and, and I was gonna say him. I was gonna say him too, because yeah. I, I ain't seen nobody like he made to, me, to me. To me. To me. Nobody did special teams better than him. No, he definitely the goat doing. Nobody that. did special teams. Yancey better though than him. did his little numbers too. Yancey did his thing. Yancey though. did his thing, yeah. but like I'd have seen, seen him. I'd have seen them kick the ball away from him. Like out of bounds, dog. Like yeah. we ain't even kicking him no more today. Yeah, they they kick they they kick it against and not knowing Yancey to take them off yep. to the highs too. Exactly. That's the truth though. He was yeah. like a sneaky. He'll sneak <laughs> they up know on you. Yancey take them off to the high. Like Sherrod did. They he snuck up on Sherrod. They tried to get away from forty, but he went straight out the sideline real fast on the jetted out on him. Yeah, I say like. Like I said, I give you say Sherman Scott. I say Sherman Scott. That's that's running by Sherman Scott, T. Will, I and mean, Josh Harris. Um, line like linebacker. Why I say Rico. defense Rico. Uh, yeah. Um, quarterback. Why quarterback? 
Garrett Jones. Nah, I'm just trying to <laughs> say he depends. I, Garrett was a pocket quarterback. Right. Garrett was a pocket quarterback. Right. No, he was not. Garrett was Garrett a was running, running quarterback. Garrett could run if needed G to. G could run, though. I ain't he say he couldn't. Garrett was though. good. Garrett yeah. was good. Garrett he was, was like. Champion. He wasn't me now. Garrett was good. You put 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 you on that team. On out on that team that he had. Yeah, we going to state too. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's what I'm telling you. We should have went to state with me. But what, what I'm like, saying, my time. Remember what happened? <laughs> <laughs> we remember what happened. We remember what happened, man. Don't make I, me bring that back up. I done brought it up before. I was at that game, though. <laughs> oh. And don't get me wrong now. Y'all, long you, you can't take the blame for that. You can't. It was a lot of different yeah, mistakes. Don't get me shit. wrong now. Brad, give the don't take, get man. me wrong. Corona, my dude. That man was burning Corona hey, that game. Yeah. Hey, Corona yeah. got burnt toast that game. Hey, yeah. Corona, he's going to he gonna have to, he gonna have to uh, say something back to this, man. But wrong, man. <laughs> I'm saying, it ain't, he ain't blow the game, but it was just no. a lot of different mistakes. Yeah, but I'm going with twice, though. Kurt, Kurt, you Kurt, got Kurt, hit, boy. Dunbar did, a, did his thing. Gotcha. You got hit. Matter of fact, uh, dude had posted, um, Justin Payne had posted on his uh, Facebook, that team or whatever. I had come in it. They got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> they really did. They did about one point, man. Yeah, they don't still hurt right. to this day. Yeah. To, two point, to me, that game. To this to day. Me, to me, that oh, game. Two, they beat us about one point two years in a row. They did. Do you the only one wanted it, though. Hmm. At the end. Yeah, nobody. The everybody else was running away from wide me. open. I'm saying, like, everybody gave up. In the middle of the field, I'm wide open. They, it was, I mean, think about it. He got the ball, so that's what I'm looking at. He the quarterback. He got the yeah. ball, though, when I'm looking at Because he won't throw the ball. He think he, he can get the first down, which he did get the first down. And gave it to them on. To the next first down. It was first down again Damn. after the after first down. You trying, Damn. you trying to dive out of bounds? I was about to him, juke man. in or whatever, and they like See, flipped my no, foot, no, flipped up. What you juking in for? In my own, like you know, when they call it. Again, go out of the brain of clip in again. No, you know when like you flipping and your your equilibrium off. Yeah. So like I thought I had fumble out of bounds, but then I realized I fumbled back inbound. Okay. You yeah. feel me? Because like, I got hit so hard, my hands just like it was cold. I just release. <laughs> you know how it is when you're the, uh, you don't know how it is on the field. But um, <laughs> I was on the I, field at the same time you got your championship right. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that year, that, I, right. I, I don't play that Bryce twice. Yeah. So, that yeah, yeah the, that that. That year we got put out by Columbia. Me and Roller were hurt that whole year. I think we would have went further. Yeah, Roller had nothing. Yeah, boy. Roller was hurt. Roller was garbage, trash, man. Yeah. We, he, 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 hey, Swag had way more yards in there. Way more, more catches in there. Roller was way good. more test out here. Shout out to Swag, best tight end in baseball even his. Y'all want to say that to him? If he was here, Roller was going to say that. Y'all want to say that? Roller going to be here. That ain't even like that though. He, hey, he wouldn't even better do that with the Vanderbilt. He wouldn't even do that with the better than. What is your name? Um, me. Yeah. KJ, Bring K, KJ yeah, be wanting yeah, to argue with you. Yeah, KJ can't argue with me. He just below me. <laughs> 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 hey, look at the record books, man. That, that's all I say, well, take, man. Go, go, one more thing about the football, though. How was winning the state championship? Because like, I tell people all the time, like, I remember going to Midnight Madness the start of the year and to know we the last people that walked off the field happy. We were the only team in 2A that walked off the field happy. That's, a, like, that's why I say people got to understand goals like and going after stuff. Like, But think about it, we wouldn't have never got to that point if we never started at Midnight Madness in those long-ass two shit days. Di- that, shit, that shit a different feeling, though. Mm. That shit a different feeling, bro. Yeah. You come out, they see all them people, then you win. Like me and Coach Bryant never got along, mm-hmm. but we got along that day. Yeah. Like, at the end of it, we got along that day. <laughs> that's how it like, looked. Got like it, was a, it was a it was a goal that everybody had. You start the season off with that one goal: win state championship, yep. especially at baseball because that's what we was about. Nah, mm-hmm. then we had the whole time. It hurt to lose it though. Y'all saw the coach had left. He hurt to lose without lost, making it we, there. Yeah, we lost. No, we lost but in there. Y'all enough. got dominated though. So y'all y'all knew y'all were losing oh. in the second quarter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you when I know we was losing. Whenever when they hit uh, Sadat Chambers hit Rico so hard. That was tough. Well, they seen that. How high hit it? Like, it was like, oh. Um, he so went out. He went out. Rico was at tight end. He went out. Swing pass, ain't it? Oh, my God. Rico Bell? Man, clean Rico. Up, <laughs> oh, Rico, man. like. That's what, we got to bring these clips back Rico up, now. man. We got to fight. Brad, it's your job, Brad. It's your job for this what we talk about. Jeremy, Jeremy, yeah, no, Jeremy's saying it. So, Brad, like, how's my job? It is Brad's job. He down here, man. He can get into the. He, talk, he already had a conversation with somebody that worked at the school. That's your job. But we'll talk about it off the pod. He just hired you, ain't it? <laughs> but tell uh, one more on, um, couple more things. Tell us um, what you where you gonna be at the next five years. Where you wanna be at? 
Next five years, I plan on having, I plan on having a few trucks. I plan on having at least one, at least one clothing store. Mm-hmm. And should I have a grandchild? Yeah. Have more grand- <laughs> you, you gonna have more kids? I, I don't. I, that ain't the plan. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, if plan. you if you got a, you obviously you're not with any of your baby mama, so I, you gonna find another woman. If I if I if I get married and my wife want a baby. It, it'll be unfair to her yeah. for mm-hmm. me not to want to get her. Baby. But it's like if you got if you want to be done, you'll be done now. If I I could be done. Yeah. Yeah, but like I said, if I got married and mm-hmm. she want another child, but marriage still on the table for you. I yeah, but I ain't that, like I ain't forcing it. Okay. I ain't finna force it. it you a single male? I like want to get married, but I just want to do it one time. I know, right? That's why I ain't never rushed. Man, he had that same mindset with having babies, but <laughs> <laughs> man, hey, I like to get, hey, man, I like to get that Peter head. Wet, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> swag. I mean, not on swag, but on sat used to be on that red Corvette. You, hey, swag. Hey, man. I ain't gonna say this online, but remember that time we had hit you about saying somebody was coming on the podcast? So I was like, yeah, she come on, she say, my name, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, block y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I ain't even finna play like that. <laughs> oh, report. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 report. I, I had to report y'all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had to report y'all, bro. Man, he ain't gonna report that. That's messed up, Sam. Got that woman to speak facts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, don't that be the part that bitch you off when, like, I was talking to Brad about this yesterday, but. You talk to a woman and you mad about something you lied about too. Like, I don't care if I lie about I'd it. I be like, man. You gonna lie about it to me? Yeah. I lie about this type of stuff, man. Yeah. Don't be lying to me about it. Like, yeah, I'm mad. I'm mad like I wouldn't lie, you know? Or like, yeah. don't you be mad I about something that you you be lying about, but like, you act like it was the truth? Like, you know you yeah. lied about the yeah, same thing. You lie like, to yourself. Like, you start lying to yourself you in make, situations. You make, okay. yourself, you make yourself believe it. Yeah, you make yourself yeah. believe it, man, because, hey, it. man, oh, yeah, yeah, I did it. I did the same thing. Okay. It was me. I yeah. felt better when I did it. Yeah. Not you. Yeah. yeah. But also, uh, tell us on uh, who you think we need to have on the podcast cause, like to make this podcast do what it's supposed to do. Um, it depends on the route you're going. You going sports business? We want we uh, want the best, the most interesting people that can give us the most clout because, um, like, obviously that's what we need to take another level, another leap. Um, it depends on you want to do music wise. Uh. We definitely need to have some rappers on here, though. Yeah, I'm just going to say Me that. Hey, Mookie I, Taylor. I, I, I listen to Mookie Taylor. He got a song called Mookie Blue Ta- 8. Mookie Taylor Fire can rap. Song. Mookie yeah. Taylor can yeah, rap. Yeah, the Blue 8. The, the, the Blue no 8. One camera kind I'm going to tell, yeah. tell you who else scraped to me, though. His brother, Jock scraped to me. Yeah, he straight, too? Yeah, Jock scraped to me. Yeah, we'll listen to Mookie Taylor. Yeah, it's the a song. Eight. What's that song? Jock got on the LSU jersey. I ain't saw the video. They they had Bubba Wells, back when Bubba Wells had, uh, was living. They had his spot. They made the video there, but... Is is Mookie Taylor on there? Jock on there? They, they it's, I like it. Yeah, okay, I got to look. It at, I got it. In, it's in my. It's in my phone. I have to send it to y'all. Who but, is it? Who um, is it? that I'm gonna tell you. But like, okay, I like, I like Black Zach. Mm. The richest yeah. rapper in South Carolina. I like Black Zach. Um, I think him. Um, sports wise, from hometown basketball, I think Quint. Mm-hmm. I should get Quint on there. Um, told Quint to come on. Yeah, I think on. I think Quint should come. Quint like, to me, in my to me and my, yeah. my yeah. era, basketball wise, yeah, Quint and Scoop. Yeah, Quint and Scoop for, for yeah. dudes in our yeah. era. Yeah, yeah. Quint and Scoop. Um, they both, they, and then he Quint came right after Scoop. Yeah, so it was like the um, transition. That's true. Them two were the best that I'd have seen. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah, but um, business wise, you got. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of people got a lot of yeah. I think he should. I think he should. I really think he should. It's a lot of people got some motion out here, man. And that's what we trying to talk motion. to the people with the motion. Cause like yeah. how you said you hit okay. Oh, that's so cool to me. Cause yeah. like that's we trying to talk to people that can really elevate and help other people. That's like they really doing stuff. Like my girl was talking about K. And she like she really sounded like she knew exactly what she was talking about. Cause she did. She cause do. like you asked her a question, she just really answered it. And that's do. how it's supposed to be. Yeah, like I I seen when I heard her say that. Cause I was thinking like you had to pay, and, and you know, y'all can edit how y'all want to do it. But like this, I'm gonna tell you is that like the Lord, she was willing to show. It's a class. She was like telling me like the class she took for dispatching. She was like, um, I if I can still find it, I will give you my password, so you ain't gotta pay for the class. That's your so much just love. Take, exactly. Like 
just small stuff like that. Can, that's like, somebody want to see you win. Win bro. exactly. Yeah. That's how it make you feel like just so proud, so mm-hmm. positive. I love yeah. seeing it. That's why I be. We we had at one time like not trying to bring it back, but we wanted to help somebody start a podcast or whatever. Yeah. Like nobody even hit us back with it. it's like man, like we want to help somebody, but like I guess nobody want to be helped. Right. A nobody lot of people, podcast. a lot of people when when I was like the van and stuff, a lot of people reach out to me. I don't have no information. I tell them what I know. You know exactly. what I'm saying? A lot of people look at it like that's gonna be your competition, and you can't tell them. But so I don't look at it like that. What's for you is for you. Exactly. What's for you is yeah. for you. That's why I look at it. Amen. That. Amen. But give your socials or whatever, Sap, so people can find you. Um, Sap hello. Facebook, Eddie Sap. Uh, Instagram, Eddie Sap. Uh, Snapchat is Sap hello. No Sapolo. caps. Sapolo. There's no capital letters. 100 snaps a day. Yeah, you know. All memories. Damn right. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> yeah. All memories. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> like, it is so cool. Like I say, I love this conversation because, like, yeah. I feel like you somebody that like just pull up on us if we having somebody on here. Cause like, young Malachi, he got um, you know, he got kids just like you, so just yeah. be busy or whatever, just having conversation, just deep conversation, just and real man, life. Man and, like, stuff. And, and like with Jamie, man, I remember I used to tell Jamie, man, <clears> just <throat> he might he might don't even remember the conversation. I used to say, just find something you passionate about. Yep, it's okay. a different like it's a different like. You doing something for the money, and you doing something that you're passionate about. Because if you're doing it for the money, whenever it go bad, you are gonna stop. Yep. yep. But you passionate about it, you gonna continue to do it. You gonna continue. It don't matter about it. the money. Yeah. You gonna continue to do it. So he finds his passion. He mm-hmm. definitely finds his passion. Yeah, his passion it. is communicating, and why he he's like cutting hair. He like yeah. I feel like he is a person that brings a, a verse of people, yeah. different types of people all together. He can bring those people together. It's about you know yeah. that's that's his gift. I remember I used to be like, man, go buy go buy you a, a, a tow truck or something. Go yeah. buy a tow. I used to say stuff like that, just throwing ideas. Like he got to be, you know, he got to be in the hometown. He got to be supplanted there. Like he can't he can't leave there for too long. Now. Yeah, I, I this, this been back 2012, 2013. Yeah, yeah, I used to just you know when we used to be just sitting over there. Mm-hmm. Just, I, 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 yeah. I, that's why I be wanting him on sometimes because like. When he be here, cause like think about when he be came on here with you, he be done told us something. To, cause like he said, you got some little nasty story. Right? <laughs> Sap be like, cause like, you had to see Sap at this party I'm I was t- at, I'm man. You had to, yeah, if y'all saw what I saw, <laughs> that, kid, that boy was a. <laughs> hey, man, okay. I, like I say, bro, my brothers exposed me to a lot of stuff, bro. <laughs> so boy was a nasty to, guy. Yeah, yeah, I ain't, I ain't really nasty. <laughs> I'm a boy. nasty motherfucker. Yeah, it's some yeah. stories that we done heard about, you know, Sap just. On the page that's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> on the page that's in the back. Hey, that used to be me and my dog. Shit right there. We had, I ain't going to put my other hey, man. That's, that's how Tim did, yeah, man. But, but For my, real. My dog, my dog there. Yeah. Hey, boy, he I, told us the story, man. I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Y'all boy had some fun times together. Yeah. Damn. Look, look, yeah. Looking at each other, Peter Weeders. Man, I'm going to tell you, boy. I'm going to tell you. I know that ain't going to tell, tell, tell you a funny story. I'm going to tell you a funny story. This, I had a homegirl from Atlanta, and uh, she came down. She had she was promoting a party or whatever. She brought a girl with her, so she was like, "I'm gonna be on like on Gunners Ferry." So me and Theron, we had went, yeah, and we went. We had a hotel or whatever, and he was like, "Man, I'm finna go to the mall." He was like, oh, "I said, well, you going to the mall? I'm staying here." So I said, "You might want to stay too." <laughs> hey, hey. So <laughs> <laughs> the girls. They get they go get in the pool. They come back in. We in there watch TV. They jump straight straight in the shower together. Mm. Uh, you hear him in there. He hear him in there. They yeah, get it in. That nigga peaked a lot. <laughs> 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 so so the girl they come out. She told him. She said, she said put your dick on the tape." <laughs> My man put his shit on the tape. Fuck it. Hey. So me and the other girl. He he it was a stunning. He was yeah. nervous, so the other girls she doing she doing the other one. So yeah. she I'm I start I'm hit the other one from the back yeah. row. So she, she she was like, Man, you take too long. She moved she moved him out of the way when they start. So you ain't got your rocks out, you was ready. Yeah, so, so you I, so you so you you went in and out. It was like a little In a minute. Nah, I bo I got right back right. <laughs> so <laughs> I um it was a little slide though. We on the other side. Him and the other girl, they on the other side, so I'm looking. They over there. I don't, we in this motherfucker. We got a polo hat, polo boot. We butt ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I look, I look on my shoulder. My bad, my bad. 
<laughs> I look on my shoulder, him and her, they looking. The girl, she. So they looking through the thing, looking at me. I, I think I had on. They both looking at you. So y'all should go ahead and do the Fosal thing. Oh, Mind switching? <laughs> you talking about? <laughs> mind switching? Yeah. Like I say, we were some nasty. No, so y'all boy had some good time. Oh, I mean, like I say, he said he got some stories to tell. Like stuff like, okay, it's stories we we have a man talk. Stuff that I be used to brag about, like multiple female hitting this female. That In the female. night, you just wiping out with a little paper towel. Nah, I used to watch that dick. <laughs> I used to watch. I need a rag and soap. <laughs> yeah, I but, but move on to the next one in the same night. Yeah. How many girls you done hit in one night? <laughs> this is in high school. I ain't seven girls one night. That boy is high school. Like, 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 in high school. How was you do that? One of my I ain't got to put my partner name. And it uh, we was it was after the jamboree. It, it we went all the way to that morning though. You know what I'm saying? All yeah. way, within the 24 hours. Okay, okay. Like that. For some reason that's just shit we used to be on. Like let's see who can hit the most. So, mm-hmm. so did you ejaculate like all seven times? Not all seven times, but. My wood went in the women. <laughs> Not all seven times. You know what I'm saying? Because it was to the point like, I'm just doing it. I couldn't bust. A lot of women you still know to this day? I can name every last one of them. I can, I'm not, but I can name every last hey, one of them. Yeah, that'll throw the podcast up. Yeah, right yeah. yeah I can yeah. name every But my partner, he had caught like four of them. But I remember, man, one, like, I used to be on some whole shit in high school. I bro. remember. It used to be like, I used, girls I'm doing talking about like thing. three, four girls. I used to doing that shit. I remember one time. Gotta get that stat when I'm bro, on the, <clears throat> I didn't grow up. I didn't hit. I ain't even, like, but I, that's why I say, that's why I said it's karma. How you used to approach girl, How you used to approach the girls back then? You, you felt old. It wasn't really hot. I ain't used to talk to younger girls back yeah. then. I wasn't talk to no girls. So like, like, just like, just let me get that nookie, girl. Man, back then it just was easy. Think about it. You see multiple girls like they. I'm driving. I got a car. Yeah, you did. Have yeah, a car. I had a car. I had like I had a car. It's a twenty. Yeah, yeah, you had a nice car. Yeah. I always had a nice car. I yeah. had a, like it was just simple. Like yeah, you had a white car one point time, ain't it? No, nah. You had a red challenge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But in high school, I had I had a car. So what was it? Yeah, it was had... an Avalon. I had an Avalon. I black. I it was black on black. Okay. Yeah, but I could. I could, I had the transportation to get it. It wasn't girls and just baseball. It was like different surrounding time. Uh, um, I used to get just, and then my my, my mama and daddy in the room, like, as long as you don't bring them in the house, mm-hmm. we got a shed in the backyard, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we got a big shed in the backyard. Hot pussy in that yeah, shed, like, boy. I remember, shed. I remember that shed. But I don't even, like, I'm, we talking about it, but I don't really talk about it because I be like, damn, I got girls. And like but a it's lot like, of, it's just like, yeah, you don't live but, like that now. But I used to like brag on like hitting this. Smashing girl. So how many like girls you smashed in one year? I don't know. So you feel like it's been more than 20 in one year? Yeah. I like, I ain't, I don't, one thing I don't do, I don't lie on my dick. Well, I'm saying. I, like, I don't, huh? So are you happy with all the way you done put your penis in though? Like you look back on like, boy, you it's all, it's all in our home time. Nah, with, with, with my thing, part of the if I hit a girl. Her, she, if she ugly, she got a banging body. <laughs> or if, if she she fine, she might ain't got a good body. Yeah, it's got to be either. Or. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> either or. I mean, that's yeah. all way with that. Like either she or. fine with yeah. a banging body or. I ain't, I, body, ain't, I ain't the finest nigga in the world, but that's just my fucking preference. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take it or leave. Fucking preference. Yeah, I got any preferences. My guess, give your own social one more time since we um we got to a long Facebook. Time. Facebook is Eddie Sap. Um, Instagram is Eddie Sap, and um, my snap is Sapolo. S A P P A L O, no caps. No cap. Yeah. Okay. And you can follow me at Hassan. I mean, Y Twin because on Twitter and on Snap. You can follow me at Hassan underscore guy on the Snap. You know Hassan to me. Uh, we ready to get to that yes. Hassan. Yeah, that was it. Tell me what it means. Uh, tell me. I know you don't heard the pocket. What it mean? No, what now? What Hassan it mean in Swahili? It means handsome, man. I'm, I'm that guy. <laughs> uh, Twitter at the Jeremy Gant. Snap and IG Jeremy uh, underscore Gant. You messing up too, nigga. Yeah. And you that. can follow me on Twitter <laughs> and IG at D Money QB. Go to Snapchat, Fine Ass Twin. Go follow us on the other social media for the Navy Black Podcast at Navy Black Pod on Twitter and IG. Go to Navy Black on Facebook. Go to the website, NavyBlackPodcast.com. Also, go to the YouTube. Can you subscribe to your boys? Like and subscribe for us. Just show us some love. This is a black owned business, and we got a bunch of nasty motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong button. I don't care. We'll see y'all today. We appreciate, appreciate the wrong button. Coming on. You missed hitting the wrong button, man. Yeah, I did. <laughs>
stay at the wrong foot on that, man. He need to lock your screen up. Oh, yeah. I tongue that ass, too. Tongue the hell out of that. That would skip him off when you shoot that tongue in that ass. Oh! Uh-uh. Oh, my God. No, this ain't God. This is Stanley Earl.